Hey guys, MechanicCG here and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited 2. Today is episode number 7 and we are here in our brand new house. So uh, outside we have a what looks like a swimming pool out the front. We've got an indoor fish tank that goes upstairs by the looks of it. We've also got a outdoor swimming pool. This looks amazing. Can we swim in it? No. I didn't think so. And oh, I didn't even see that. We have a cat. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh. Oh, well, I didn't know this was a thing. Oh. Um, but also, uh, the reason why we had to do this was because we needed to upgrade our garage space um, to make room for our A6 championship car. Which, we are going to be driving the Subaru WRX STI. Um, it was actually quite tough to pick a car. Um, but I picked it in a grey colour. Hopefully it looks alright. Um, 293 horsepower, so that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. That sounds good. Oh. That sounds really good. And it's fairly quick. It's not too slow. It's not as slow as the other ones. Right, so we're nearly at the uh, championship. So I'm going to leave this last little bit in the video. Um, just this last little journey. The sound of this engine though, ah, what are you doing? The sound of this engine though is really good. Oh, we got like a part somewhere nearby. Oh, I see it. I might as well go for it while we're at it. How on earth can you park a beetle up there? Right, let's go. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> oh no. Ah! There we go. Back on track. Don't lose it. Turn left, turn left, turn left. Okay, I get the message. Turn left. Oh, that is amazing. Here is the A6 Championship. Enter. Today, I'm going to present to you one of our competitors, Stuart Wintery, my father, also known by the nickname The Watchmaker, who just so happens to be the producer of Solar Crown. Whatever Tess is trying to imply, let me assure you, my role on the business side of Solar Crown has no bearing on the outcome of the race. My experience, wisdom, and precision are more than enough to handle a track full of spoiled children who can only consider themselves racers because their daddies bought them a fast car when they were 16. Let's cut. <laughs> 
Right. Uh, our first event, you know what, I'm gonna go for this, because this is, uh, trying to sort of learn how to control the car at high speed. It gives me a little bit more practice. Um, so our minimum speed is pretty much 75 miles an hour. Oh, to force one's way through Look at that paintwork. I never noticed hour. that. It's all speckled. It looks really race. nice. Stay tuned. Things are going to heat up. Oh, and the controller disconnected again. There we go. That's better. Let's get loads of points. We just lost a load of points. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what, I'm not even bothering finding out the results. I'm going to restart that. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Listen to that idle noise, though. Um, I might turn right here. Maybe going right wasn't such a good idea after all. Even I don't understand that. Right, next one. Um. Right, so we've got a six mile race here. We've got a 3.6, a 5.5, 4.8, and 4.6. So let's go for this race first, because it's nice and short. Let's start. Find our competitors at the starting line for what promises to be an intense race. Oh, the wheel spin off the line. This car accelerates though. That is amazing. Right, make sure we're slowing down for the corner here. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you. 
This car loves to drift. But it's also very good at going off-road. Which makes sense, it is a Subaru, but this car is sort of in the game categorised as asphalt, so I wouldn't expect it to go off-road. Um, but that's pretty interesting that it can do that. No. Oh, we just scraped up the whole side of the car. There we go, nice corner there. And across the line with the win. Bading. Right, on to the next event. Uh, let's go for this one. 4.8 miles. We're all lonely. Tick tock, time is passing by and we need to hurry up. Let's meet the candidates for this timed challenge. Come on, come on. Slow down, slow down. No. Oh, we've gone off the road. Got to try and avoid doing that because that brings our time up dramatically. There we go. Right, quick, quick, quick. We can get that speed back up, no problem. It's whether our penalty is too much now. Two point two three and yes. Okay, we are still ahead. Only just. Three twelve miles ahead and the fact that there's no traffic makes this a thousand times easier
you know, I actually want to own a Subaru one day. Like, I know that sounds like, uh, why would you want to own a Subaru when you could own something like, what? I don't know. You could own a Porsche or a, oh shit. You could own a Porsche or a Ferrari or something like that. Nah, Subaru. Or a Skyline. One of the two. Oh shit. Right, well we're taking an L on this one. Why is this car so slidy? I'm gonna have to uh, get some handling upgrades for this. Eight. Fifth. I will take fifth. Oh shit, we're behind. Tess has come second in every single one. Ah, oh, this fucking controller. Here we go. Forest ride. Three lap race. Let's start. And we're off for a new competition of Solar Crown. Good luck to all of you, and I'll see you at the finish line. Huh. It seems a bit weird that the presenter and the producer of this Solar Crown competition are all in the actual races. It seems a bit off. I'm not gonna lie. Little Subi, you can do it. This shouldn't be a problem for you. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Quick reverse. And we're pulling away again. Um, so, what I am going to do for off camera between this one and the next. Um, Championship. I'm going to see if I can find the Japanese tuner. Um, I'll search it up. Search up the location of it. Uh, and see how much we can upgrade this. Should be able to get it quite high. Little bit of a cheeky skid there, cheeky slide, The one thing that surprises me the most about this game though is how they managed to fit a huge map, loads of cars, loads of missions, loads of cutscenes, loads of voice lines, all in the space of a DVD. Because that's what Xbox 360's run off of, they are DVDs. And all of this is in 
Oh. Get back on the track. All of that is within a DVD which can only store, I think, up to four gigabytes. Which means that's four gigabytes of game being stored with no problems and being able to play like this. I mean, the loading times, I think, is made better the fact that I've installed it all onto the physical hard drive of the Xbox, so it is a lot quicker. Um, but still, the loading times were very quick, even running off of the disc. And it's just surprising. This game is so well optimised, the only setback for it is the frame rate, I would say. But then it's not even that big a deal. I can still play it. Not a problem. Come on, the finish line's just there. Don't lose it now. Oh, there we go. And across the line. Right, two more races to do. Four point six miles. Uh, this is a timed thing, so hopefully we can do better than we did last time, because last time we did horribly. Um, so what I'm going to do for this one as well is entirely first person. Let's meet the candidates for this. Oh my gosh. Bloody controller. So annoying. Here we go. I've already buggered up. Get back on the track. There we go. Don't lose any more time. Oh, that was a nice corner. Ah! Let's try this again, but not in first person then. Let's try this camera, see if we can get a better driving line. I never expected this car to be slidey though. What do you mean? Get back on! It wasn't turning in. Ah! And then that time it wasn't turning. <laughs> Make up your mind, car. Listen to that turbo whistle. Oh, this is quick. The cars are only going to get faster as well.
Here we go. Oh, that was perfectly timed, that break-in. Italian tuna. Still looking for the Japanese one. But that means we can upgrade the... Um, Alfa Romeo now. Not that we actually know... We will need it, but I'll explain why. And that's three grand. Let's go on to the final event now. Where is it? This one. The Big Descent. I wonder why it's called that. <laughs> Maybe because it goes downhill? Solar Crown with all your favorite drivers. Miami, the Wilder Brothers, Stewart, they're all here, and we're off. All oh, that wheel spin. And the controller's disconnected again. Why does it keep doing that? I'm gonna have to try and fix that really bugging me. I wonder if sellotape would work. If I just sellotape the battery pack solid, it probably won't move. This isn't a descent at the moment. This is an ascent. That's a different thing. I'm still waiting for the descent. Oh, oh, is this the descent? I hope that wasn't it, because that wasn't very big. <laughs> Okay, now this is the big descent. Not got far to go now. Four more checkpoints. I'm so glad that this car can go off road. He's right behind me. Oh, I should have paid attention. Right, we got to catch up. We got to catch up. Come on. We can do this.
He's in a muscle car. We should be able to overtake him. No, 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 no. No one's overtaken me. Okay, Andrew can overtake me. Yes, we won. A6 high. Gosh, that was a difficult race, though. Very fast downhill. What talent! Even Stewart couldn't top it. Today, our new challenger was definitely the stronger of the two. Result. Um, what is this? Because this has been popping up quite a bit, and I don't know what it is. Let's go there. Hi, pleasure to meet you. Okay, let me explain my project to you. I want to do a picture book on Ibiza, capturing images of the most beautiful places on the island. Your job is to find those spots and take snapshots. I hired a guy, but all the pictures he took were out of focus. They all need to be reshot. Consult the photo album to see them. You may just be able to work out where they were taken. Don't forget to follow the requested conditions. By the way, I've also opened an agency in Hawaii. Don't hesitate to drop by if you're in the neighborhood. Ooh. Exit the shop. The will offer you secondary missions based on exploration. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Um, one thing I want to do, I want to see, can I do this? Let's make this a GPS target. And then fast travel here, because I want to do an extreme convoy, get ourselves a little bit of money. Um, and then we'll end the episode off there. Um, but this car is quite a nice one. It is a Caterham R500 Super Light. Those cars have some meaty acceleration. You have reached your destination. This icon represents... Someone is in need of your help. Successfully completing events will help you to progress to higher levels. I need to take my car to be serviced, but I don't have time to go. Can you take it for me and try not to damage it? And try not to damage it. Yep, let's go. Oh my gosh. That is quick. It's only 1.6 miles though. Whoa, 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 slippy, slippy. Face palm. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's very slippy. Let's try it without any. Let's go from 15. And we're at 60 already. Right. Don't lose control on the corner this time. Here we go. Let's see if we can lose the tail end on this corner. Woo! <laughs> right, how fast can we get it? Mm. 
while staying within accept acceptable levels of risk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. I mean, this isn't where you take your car to go for a garage, but okay. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right, so that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.